Okay. Okay, okay leave quietly because we're going to hear from Mr. Previn next. <laughs> Mr. Previn, thank you. <laughs> yes, it is Eric Previn, a county resident from District 3. Excellent. Uh, oh, there he is. Okay. Um, this is an item that has to do with the Museum of Natural, uh, Na Natural History, uh, not the eligibility workers, who I would just like to say thank you once again for coming down. This is uh, an item that I have tracked, and I am frankly a little baffled by these uh, financial numbers. It's 1.5 annually, but 80% is coming from the foundation the last few years. My recollection is it's a million a year annually, and you can't change it unless you have uh, you know, six votes or something. But maybe I'm wrong, and Volpere has done an outstanding job. And let's just bring forward that Richard Volpere has done an outstanding job. He serves not just as the chairman of the Museum of Natural History Board of Trustees, correct me if I'm wrong, but also as the chief litigator, not litigator, uh, attorney rather, who helps us uh, in our marina deals and our Grand Park deals. And item seven today, uh, he's responsible for the leasehold option fee negotiations, which are very, very low to keep the uh, various lessees comfortable and on ice while they uh, prepare to put up large structures on our public land. Uh, unless we can get Supervisor Kuehl to um, break with the team to beat and move forward into a more sensible um, adherence to the charter. And by charter, Supervisor Ridley Thomas, I'm referring to the, the county charter, obviously. So thank you so much for your uh, interest. And I, we, I should just say as I conclude that the Museum of Natural History is an outstanding resource. Every single member of this room, I can guarantee, loves it there. I love it there. I took my children. I always go there. And in fact, the Becoming Los Angeles exhibit that we all um, took great interest in because it was a, uh, the history of this very place um, was brought to us by J.P. Morgan Chase. And yet, they didn't really cover the cost of the kids going in, which bummed me out. They did take a nice poster up front that it was brought to them. By, but I was like, uh, excuse me, I, it's 16 bucks for that? Or, well, you know, so I do think that if we're going to give 1.5 structurally to this group, whether it's for three years or a million perpetuity, let's pick up the cost for the kids, as I've said many times before. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great.